Hey guys, uh, so this is going to be update number two on the new dial. Uh, this update is just showing you the equipment that's on the site uh, where it's going to be parked to start out with. Um, to kick off the dial, the initial start of it um, is going to be Thursday or Friday, depending on when that crane comes in. As soon as the crane comes in, um, then you know the dial will will start as soon as I, get, I build it and stuff. But uh, again, don't ask me what it is. It's gonna be kind of a surprise. So check in for the unboxing Thursday or Friday. Um. So basically, I'll start with this. You see the uh, 924G sitting here, kind of where the yard area would be. You get the dumpster, uh, extra barrels, oil barrels, uh, custom Komatsu PC350 bucket. Let me get more in the light. See, like that. Cheese, wear guards, a couple of them, not too many. Perfect linkage. Really like it. Put some uh, side cutting edges on. Cheese, stuff like that. Not bad. It's an Emmy bucket for the uh, 350. So uh, then you got the uh, 320DL trenching. Uh, Terex 225 uh, trenching for the 330, ME for the 330, uh, S205 barrels. Uh, it's just porta potty. Little gate. And actually, it's supposed to be closed. A little closed. I had to fix it though. These are really, really crappy. Uh, well, it's supposed to be Jersey barriers. They end up screwing up, burnt them in the oven or whatever. They're just screwed up. I gotta make bigger ones. I didn't have enough clay, so I was trying to spare them to smaller size. But so they're not all over. If, if I get more, I'll just put them all over one side. I'll make a couple big, uh, several big ones. So uh, you see the bridge? There's a couple up there. All right. So uh, that's the yard. You got the 312 sitting over there. Uh, it's just waiting. I'm, I'm actually in the process of hopefully making myself a thumb for that uh, with a cylinder, hydraulic thumb. So. Hopefully then I get that before you know I start the actual site. But I gotta see what I'm doing. Uh, not bad. That's a D7E on this side, and the median just sitting there waiting. Uh, D6K on that side. If I ever showed that, that's just gonna go away first. Uh, custom John Deere 225 CLC. Zero cal. Yeah. That's not standard colors, but I kind of like the way it looks. So, uh, Terex 225 LC <laughs> with a hammer on it. And there is, I don't know if you can see, but there is lines on it. Yeah, barely, but I got more pictures that show it better. So, make them over to the other side of the highway. On this side, I'll start on this side. You got the D6T. Uh, I like the wide tracks on it, the, the look of the wide tracks. I'd like them on, a, I, I need, on any dozer. This is good for mud or anything like that, but that's nice. So this area here, relatively indented as you can see. Uh, kind of like that. Drainage thing right there. Uh, just sitting, that's going to be taken all out and stuff and cleared. Uh, maybe, I have to see what, maybe it might be taken out. I'm probably going to, I want to lift it up with a crane, uh, but I don't know. 320 DL with some on it. Some trees that are going to be cleared with the 320. Well, all these trees are going to be cleared with the 320. Those will probably just knock over at the 225 or even the D6, maybe. I don't know. Those trees are going to stay. Those trees, I, I, you know, I told you, maybe making the thumb for the 312, so. Otherwise, uh, 330 DL, Komatsu PC 350 LC, really nice excavator, I like it a lot, that's the, the Emmy bucket I had for it. So uh, here's the second update, got a little gate, a little jersey bear on that side. So that's really it, um, otherwise that's the uh, second update on the table. Uh, third update, well I don't know if I'm going to do a third update, because basically it's my, I'm, I'm not really sure. The next thing you might see on the dial would be a possible stop motion of the 320. Clearing some trees, maybe. I gotta see. Um, what else? 
the unboxing Thursday or Friday it depends uh, I know the model is scheduled to come Thursday but I don't know if I'm actually gonna be here to unbox it Thursday so uh, if I'm not here Thursday then the unboxing will be Friday but no it did it, 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 it is coming Thursday um, don't ask me a model again I'm telling you guys so um, uh, one little in-depth, just in case, I don't think I explained it too well in the first update, would be, this is how, what this job is, a new bridge. The existing bridge here needs to be taken down. It's really bad, falling apart, and it, it needs to be, uh, ter you know, torn apart. So, what's going to happen is that right here, kind of where the 330 is, actually more closer over, right here, right, right about here, right about here, the bri new bridge is going to come right in, just like this one. It's going to be almost an identical replica of it, uh, just modernized, a lot more higher standards and stuff. Come up, come over. No, zoom. Uh, come out a little bit. Uh, come up over. Come back in, and then the new platform is going to be built here, right where the yard is. Unfortunately, I don't want to do it any farther over because you know the pond. So uh, that's where this is going to come. This will all be moved to probably that side where the pond is because I'm thinking about filling that in but I wanted the bridge to come over the bridge to come over one so you're gonna see some excavation with the 330 and the 350 doing because what I'm gonna do is uh, you see that right there what I just had I have one piece holding kind of that end up where the road is just coming right to it along on this side also so you can see right almost right through it no, on this side, probably. Yeah. yeah, so you can see right there. So it's nothing, nothing special. It's basically just holding it up. Um, so the new one is I'm actually going to have like a, an actual platform I'm going to build. It's going to come in with an angle kind of like this, and then two sides standing up, so that when the and then a, kind of another platform down, so when the bridge or the rocks, or, you know, dirt or whatever rocks really, but um, <laughs> come in and. Uh, it holds it up really nice. So it's going to be a lot more. But I have to excavate a lot of this. To start though, the new crane is going to sit here. And the uh, mats and stuff. That's where the new crane is going to sit. The older... Uh, I'm going to have the... Not the older one. The 530 T-Rex. Or T-Rex, 530, whatever. I'm going to probably have sitting on this side doing some smaller lifting. Um, but the main one, the, the new crane is going to be sitting here. And then I might move it to the middle right here, just so I can have more versatility on both sides. Which I'll probably end up doing. Just to start, I'm probably going to sit it here, but all this has to be cleared. Because, you know, when the, when the excavation starts, the crane can't be there. But it can be here, because there's not going to be no excavation except for digging out where the, uh, the, the hole, or, you know, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to waste time thinking what it's called. Just where the support is for the bridge. Otherwise, uh, that's it. I don't want, I really didn't want to make this long, but you know, when you start talking, you just really can't stop. So, um, yeah, that's about it. So that's update number two. Next, I might do a third update, depending. Uh, check in for the unboxings, and also please uh, subscribe. You know, if you haven't already. Thank you to all you guys. Otherwise, that's it. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that now. So, uh, yeah. So check for in for the unboxing of the new crane and um, possible, possibly a stop motion.